know, one of the most often asked questions on the GRIT Facebook page regarding chicken rearing has to do with whether or not you should artificially incubate fertile eggs or allow a hen to do that work for you. And the answer to that question is, is really multifaceted and it depends on how much work and control you want to have over the process. If you allow a broody hen to hatch a clutch of eggs, she'll set on them for you, she'll control the, the uh, humidity, she'll control turning the eggs, and when the chicks hatch, she'll take care of them. She'll rear them for you and keep them warm and, and actually probably keep them fed as well. The alternative to that is taking that clutch of eggs and placing them in a, a commercial incubator of some sort where you can control temperature and humidity you know, with, with a fair degree of accuracy. Allow the eggs to set there for uh, 21 days, and if you have a model where the eggs are turned automatically, that's even better. But if you don't, you need to turn them a couple of times a day. Uh, allow that thing to incubate through 21 days, plus or minus a few hours, and the chicks will hatch. And then you need to drop them into a, a brooder of some sort where the temperature can be controlled at a pretty high temperature initially. Uh, and then you need to supply food and water. The upside to the incubating artificially is that you have full control and you can get a hold of those chicks you know, right away. You don't have to try to chase them down outside. And they'll be a little less vulnerable to predation, perhaps, and, and possible attack from other chickens. The downside is that it's going to take you some work every day, a couple of times a day, uh, to keep those birds happy and healthy. In the end, it doesn't really matter which route you choose, because both ways will give you a happy, healthy flock. Mm -hmm.